In this episode of Building the EMG-6, we're going to position and tack weld the instrument panel bulkhead onto the rest of the fuselage frame assembly. So far, we have completed the frame to this stage, as shown in green. And shown in red are the last tubes that we positioned and welded into place. Shown in blue is the instrument panel subassembly, which was completed at an earlier stage. You can reference the complete video on building the instrument panel subassembly if necessary. Once we have completed the subassembly, we will remove it from the fixture and prepare to install it on the aircraft. We're going to use a portion of the welding fixture to help position the instrument panel bulkhead. We will remove 53100703 from the rest of the welding fixture and position it between the lower section of the instrument panel subassembly. We'll attach a couple of blocks to one side and one on the other side as shown here. The lower tube should fit fairly snugly because of the contraction from the welding. Ensure that the tubes are centered on the wooden fixture and that the fixture is tight and snug up against the crossbar. Position the instrument panel subassembly onto the pilot's seat forward cross tube. Using a piece of masking tape, temporarily position the instrument panel subassembly approximately parallel with the diagonal tubes that run from the forward seat to the landing gear box. The next step is to center the instrument panel subassembly on the pilot's seat forward tube. Using an adjustable combination square will work well for this process. In addition to ensuring that the instrument panel is centered from left to right, we also need to ensure that the tubes are centered on the center line of the pilot seat forward cross tube. Next we will install a second piece of masking tape from the forward spar down to the cross tube on the instrument panel subassembly. We will use this piece of masking tape to precisely position the angle of the instrument panel subassembly. We will measure the distance from the forward edge of the forward spar tube to the aft edge of the upper instrument panel subassembly. We can reference drawing 5340001 for positioning reference. We can see that the dimension should be 41.93 inches. Although we use a tape measure with decimal references in the shop, you can simply use a conversion chart and get close enough using a tape measure with fractional increments. If we look at the conversion chart, you can see that we're just slightly shy of 15 sixteenths of an inch. That's pretty close to our .93 inch dimensional reference. Through trial and error, we will reposition the instrument panel using the masking tape until we get our final dimension within approximately a sixteenth of an inch. We'll be able to make minor adjustments during the installation of the upper keel assembly. Next, we're going to tack weld one side of the instrument panel assembly to the pilot seat forward cross tube. The welding process may try to lift the instrument panel from side to side and leave a gap on the opposite side where the tubes intersect the pilot seat forward cross tube. This can simply be resolved by installing a clamp to hold the instrument panel flush with the pilot seat forward cross tube. Once clamped in position, it is time to tack weld the opposite side of the instrument panel subassembly. Once this is completed, we can go ahead and remove the clamp. We can unscrew the positioning blocks that were used to hold the alignment of the welding fixture. And because of the shrinkage due to the tack welding, the fixture is probably going to be fairly tight. And you will probably have to use a hammer to tap out the welding fixture from between the tubes. We have now completed this segment of the installation of the instrument panel bulkhead. We will not be completing the welds at the pilot seat forward cross tubes until after the positioning of the keel assembly. And the keel assembly positioning will be the next video in these series. Once again, we've come to the end of another episode of Building the EMG-6. Please remember to like us on the YouTube channel. And for more information about building the EMG-6, please visit our website at 
www.electricmotorglider.com.